Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Aisha Designed It and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I am going to be showing you how to make some kitchen towels using Creative Fabrica, all right? So we're gonna go in Creative Fabrica and find some Easter designs. I'm gonna be doing a um, Easter um, kitchen towel. I absolutely love to decorate my kitchen with kitchen towels during the different um, holidays. So, you know, Easter is coming up. So I wanna make sure I go ahead and decorate my kitchen with some Easter towels. So I'm gonna show you what I have right here. I went to the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree have some very cute and reasonable kitchen towels. Now we all know the Dollar Tree is $1.25 now plus tax, but I purchased this pretty um, greenish um, kitchen towel, super cute. All right, I purchased this brown one, I love it. All right, I did get a black one because I think I'm gonna put something cute um, and hope the colors will pop on this one, all right? And I purchased a blue one. I also got a kitchen mitt um a pot mitt i'm sorry this is the little uh mitt that you use to you know when something is hot you get your pots and everything on it with it so i got this also all right so we're going to go and create a fabric and i'm going to show you the design that i'm going to be using i'm going to be supplement i'll show you how to supplement um on a kitchen towel and also how to use um vinyl which is um iron on vinyl on a kitchen tower using your Cricut, whatever Cricut cutting machine you have, all right? So let's get into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All of the information for Creative Fabrica is in the description box below. Thank you so much, and thank you for supporting my channel. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I have found the SVG, the Happy Easter that I'm going to be using, but first I want to just let you know about Creative Fabrica. It's offering a 28 Days of Love deal. Get yearly all access now just for $4.99 a month. For 59, you will be billed $59 a year. The normal price is $348. So make sure you go and check out my link for Creative Fabrica in the description box below. All right, so let me go ahead and show you the SVG file that I am going to be using. And I'm going to be using this Happy Easter SVG. Now, all I did was go right here to where it says Creative Fabrica, search fonts, graphics, embroidery, crafts, etc. And I just typed in Happy Easter SVG. A lot of SVGs came up, but this is, um, I like this one here. So this, I think it's going to be either one of those. It's going to be either one. It's going to be that one um, or that one that I'm going to be using um, for my kitchen towel. All right. So now what I did, I've already downloaded this. So what I did here, but just go here to where it says press download, click on download. And I don't know, it just depends on how your computer is, but mine come up here um, on the left-hand side at the bottom, and it says Happy Easter SVG, and it's a zip file. So all you have to do is just click on it, and it should come up um, wherever your SVG files come up or your zip files come up in your computer, all right? So let me go ahead and show you the one that I'm gonna be using for um, my Cricut. Okay, I am told you I'm going to do a sublimation one, and I'm also going to be doing one using iron-on vinyl, using my Cricut um, Explorer, all right? All right, so I found this super cute Happy Easter um, design that I'm going to be using um, for, I'm going to be using this on a kitchen towel using my Cricut, all right, and it says Happy Easter. Easter has a cute little Easter bunny. I love Easter bunnies. They are so cute. So I'm going to be using this one. And remember, I told you how to go ahead and download everything. I haven't downloaded this one, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Click download. Mine come up here. All right, it comes here. Come up here on the, um, the left-hand side. So I'm going to click this one. All right, so mine come up here in this downloads folder. Um, and as you see, it's, it says DXF, AP, I think it's, okay, it's EPS, JPEG, PDF, um, the PNG, and the SVG, okay? So I'm just going to click on the PDF, double click it, and let's see how it looks. All right, it's taking a minute to come up. All right, so here it is. It came up, Happy Easter. It's in pink. But remember, when you use iron-on vinyl, you can use whatever color you want to, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do the supplementation first, and then we'll do the Cricut. Let's go. All right, everyone. So this is the design that I chose right here. 
all right it's the happy easter and it's the truck and it has the easter bunny the eggs um and it has e happy easter right here all right so while my supplementation um while i have my supplementation printer going print the design that i'm going to put that i'm going to use for sublimation i'm going to go ahead and be using some of this heat transfer vinyl um remember i did a video i was sponsored by mary may they sent all of this vinyl to me so i'm going to be um choosing some vinyl from in in this packet here to use on my um my next kitchen towel to show you how you can use your cricut in order to make kitchen towels okay not sure yet which color i think i'm going to either use this brown one or this greenish bluish color here okay um not sure yet of the vinyl color that i'm going to use but um yeah i just wanted to show you that if you have not seen that mary may video it's linked in the description box up on the what um what to watch next have some videos down there, so make sure you go and check it out, okay? All right, y'all, so I decided to use this gold glitter vinyl that I got from, um, that Mary Mae sent me. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna be using this, this one, and I'm just gonna be using this um, cut-in mat that um, they sent to me also. Um, it came in a bundle, and like I said, it's linked in the description box. I absolutely love this vinyl. It weaves very, very well, okay? So I'm just going to take this and just place it here. Okay. And I'm going to be using my Cricut Explore Air in order to print out this design from Creative Fabrica. All right. Remember, I have a link for Creative Fabrica in the description box below. All right. So here again, here's the design that I got from Creative Fabrica. And this is the one that I'm going to be using my Cricut Explorer Air to print out. It is in pink, but I'm going to do mine in gold. All right. So I'm going to be adding this Cricut, um, this vinyl, out on vinyl to this um, pot holder. All right. So what I'm going to do is I already printed out on my Cricut Explorer Air. And I'm just going to take it and weed it. I just want to show you again how well this Mary Made um, vinyl weaves. And um, just make sure you don't pull off any of your designs. Normally, I just go through here and just um, take it off, especially once I found out that it weaves very well. Okay. Some vinyl don't weed as well as others do, but I find this is an amazing weed here. You can weed it very well. And see, this is the Easter Bunny, so I can just take it and just pull off the, the um, parts that I don't need. Okay, sometimes you can use your finger to pull it up, and some other times you may need a um, something to help you, because I don't want to pull up the actual um, design. Okay, so there it is. I got it. All right, so the same with this little area here. You can just go and pull it up. Just take all of that out. And then you can use your little pick to just remove all the other, the extras in there. You see in the A and the P, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and press this on my heat press. I still have it set at 350 for 60 seconds. All right. All right, so I'm just gonna take my oven mitt just place it here on my um, heat press and just lint roll it a little bit. Even though I'm using the Cricut, um, the iron on, I just feel like to lint roll it. Okay, and as you see, I'm just placing it here. Just placing it here on my heat press like so. Okay. And I'm just pressing, uh, placing it kind of where I want it. You can kind of eyeball it. All right. So I have this tub. Well, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to use this to press it. All right. Again, I have it at 350 for 60 seconds. All right. So it's finished. So here's how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and remove this top part here. And as you see, <clears throat> it, it looks super cute. All right, as you see me pulling it off. All right, and that's just a little mark I had. It was already a little <clears throat> stain on there. Um, I don't know how it got on there. But 
this is absolutely gorgeous if you can see it it's a gold glitter and it says happy easter with the little cute little easter bunny here okay all right so let me go ahead and um i'm going to supplemate on the same color as this one all right i was going to do on black then i thought about it i cannot supplement on black i didn't think about that at first so i went ahead and just grabbed this one here the same color as this one so my kitchen will be matching y'all all right so let me go ahead and get that um set up all right everyone so i'm at my heat press now what i'm going to be doing i have this Happy Easter, then I'm going to be supplementing. Um, remember, I supplemented this on my ET2760 converted supplementation printer. All right, so I just went ahead and folded my towel the same way I'm going to be putting it in my kitchen. You know, I told you I fold it in order to put it on the stove area. So I'm going to go ahead and lint roll it once I find my lint roller. All right, so just go ahead and lint roll it very, very well. All right. Then you can go ahead and do a pre-press on it, okay, just to get any moisture out of it. All right, so here's the design. I'm just going to take it, just place it down, face down on my towel, just like I want it. All right, remember to always use your heat tape to tape it down so that your, um, your design will not shift, okay? You do not want it to shift, and that means to move, okay? You don't want it to move and go ahead and type it down really well. All right, so I've already typed it so that it will not move. I'm gonna use this little piece of paper here, just place it over my design. Again, I'm not using any butcher paper. Um, okay, so I have it on 350 at um, 60 seconds. I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and see how everything looks. As you see, the design is coming through the paper, so that's a good sign. So we're gonna do this big reveal, see how everything came out, okay? So it's not hot, so I can just go ahead and remove it with my finger. So let's go. Ooh, that is so cute. Ooh, it's looking good, y'all. Y'all see that? You see how that look? Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Look. Look at the colors. Oh, y'all, that is so pretty. Oh, this is nice. This is real cute. All right, so let me give you a closer look. It says, Happy Easter is the truck with the bunny rabbit. I love bunny rabbits and the Easter eggs. Again, this is going in my kitchen. This is a kitchen towel. So I absolutely love this. This design came from Creative Fabrica, so make sure you go and check out my link in the description box below. All right, so that's my kitchen towel that I did with Sublimation, Sublimation Ink. And this is my pot holder that I did using my Cricut Explore Air. This is glitter iron on vinyl, gold iron on vinyl, all right? Super cute. All right, everyone. So here again is my pot holder. All right. I use my Cricut Explore Air to make this with my Mary Maid um, iron on vinyl. This is the glitter iron on vinyl and it's um, a gold color. And like I said, it's just something got right here, some type of stain or something. All right, but this is absolutely gorgeous. This iron on vinyl is very easy to weed. I absolutely love it. So this will be going in my kitchen. And I did this one using sublimation. All right, happy Easter. And it's the Easter truck with the bunny and the eggs. All right, so both of these are going in my kitchen. And I'm super excited about it. So I hope that you all have, I hope that you all like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you a part of the Aisha Design It family where we learn and we grow together. All right. So you all have an amazing day and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.